How did you cheat school? In this exam, I had to submit 3 essays in 3 answer booklets, only wrote 2 essays, hit the empty booklet. Two weeks later, the exam markers asked if I had submitted 3 essays. I said yes. They assumed they lost one book so upped my marks. This was for the final year of high school and directly helped me get to university. My TI-84 plus. I had a TI-89 titanium. The AP exams actually let you bring any programs you want to the test so I had some notes. I also put Pokemon on there so I'd do that after the test. I was in summer school one year because I was lazy and never did any work during the year. The entire summer school was on a computer and was estimated to take 3-4 weeks, 4 hours a day, 5 days a week. So after about an hour of doing the computer program I notice you can skip the section you on and take a shot at the test and if you pass the test you pass the section. The test had 10 questions and you could try 3 times before you were required to read the section. I tried the test twice and realized it didn't have a large pool of questions to choose from and would repeat some questions when you retook the test but the best part was it would tell you what the answer was if you got something wrong. Bingo. I learned that if you took the test twice you were guaranteed to have at least 8 of the answers which would give you an 80% passing grade on the test. I passed summer school in less than 8 hours and no teacher raised a red flag and I got to enjoy my summer. I cheated the system. 10 stroke 10 would do again. Dang. I went to a poor catholic school. In 8th grade every classroom got a computer which was a big deal. The only issue was no one knew how to set them up. I said I did. I didn't but I wore glasses and liked video games and Star Wars enough that they believed me. Teaching myself as I went, I set up all the computers in the school and became the official IT department of the school. Anytime there was an issue I got called out of class. Score. I then realized that there was a simple setting that stopped some programs from running. I forget now but it had something to do with color. I figured out that I could fix the problem by changing that setting. But I could also set it to restore to the previous setting in 2 weeks. Every 2 weeks the computer would break again. With a computer in every classroom all on different reset schedules. I got called out to fix a computer most days. In the real world this is known as job security. Not really cheating but on my 8th grade science midterm I abcadabo at the entire test so that I could leave school early and go to the Rangers ticker tape parade in Manhattan. It was 1994 and I was young and ignorant. I got a 70 with my method. Thanks who's the man. On the exam and my classmate scored a 40 by choosing C all the way down. As he stated, when in doubt choose C. Whenever I didn't know the answer to a question I always look at the second hand on the clock if it was between 0 and 15 then it was a .1630 would be B. ETC. Parking on campus was something like $250 a year. Parked illegally around campus for 4 years and only accumulated 200 in parking tickets. We did our homework as a group where everyone did what they were good at, my friend did algebra and geometry, I did chemistry, biology, Russian and English, other kids did physics, geography, history, and so on. We cannot choose classes in Russia, we have to study everything in full measure, so in high school there is sometimes too much homework each day for one person to do it all and still have some time to live, so we've been sharing the burden for about 3 years. We never got caught. Surprisingly. Share the load. I maintained a good relationship with teachers. Having your teacher like you will help in many ways. My Chen teacher told us how she cheated in college. Basically in order to obtain her PhD in organic chemistry, she needed to pass a mid-level French class. It wasn't too hard of a class, but my Chen teacher was not very good at French. A few weeks before the end of the semester, her teacher told the class how the final exam was going to work. Each student had been using a copy of a French textbook filled with random passages in French. Two weeks before the final, the French teacher took every copy from the students, photocopied random French passages from the book, and then gave the book back to the students. You were supposed to study the textbook inside and out and come the day of the test, be prepared to translate any passage perfectly from French to English. But here's how my Chem teacher cheated. The night before the teacher photocopied the class books, my Chem teacher put a small dot of silver nitrate on the corner of every page in the book. Silver nitrate, when exposed to intense light, perhaps a photocopy machine, 
turns a lighter color than its usual black shade. My chem teacher found the page with a lighter dot, and studied that page. I ain't even mad. That's brilliant. We paid a smart kid in first period to copy all of his answers on the history test. He was a trusted office helper and had access to the copy machine. He would give them to us at lunch. We would just randomly change a few answers so it wasn't obvious. Made an A that semester without learning a single thing. I had one better. My history teacher would do the whole take one pass the rest. I was the last guy. I would give the teacher the leftover tests. What she didn't know is that I took an extra exam. The second exam I would sell it to the guys in the other period. Every Friday I had a history test third period. Every Friday I had English first period. And it was a free reading. Just sit anywhere. Type of thing. The wall between those classes was a thin, temporary, kind of fold up wall. So I would sit against this temporary wall. And read. And listen. And when I heard the history teacher loudly proclaim. Time's up pass your tests forward. I would pull out a piece of paper and a pencil. You see. This history teacher wasn't going to grade the tests himself. He had us grade each other's exams by shuffling them and passing them back out. And then reading the answers. Out loud. So everyone could grade some other person's test they had just been handed. So I sat in English class and got every answer to the test first period. Second period I would memorize the list by reading it in between sections of taking notes, or whenever there was some downtime. Third period comes along, I don't need a cheat sheet, I don't even need to hear the questions, and honestly I don't feel bad about it, had he just graded the 10 question quiz himself I would have had to study. This is amazing. Due to health reasons I was homeschooled for one year in high school. Their version of homeschooling, one of the sports coaches would stop by once a week to deliver me schoolwork and administer tests. Except he was busy, you know, coaching. The first month or so he'd show, but eventually he just stopped. Near the end of the semester he asked me what grade I thought I deserved. I did literally none of the work assigned. I said A. He was like sure, but he put down a C for math since he knew I was bad at it so it seemed real. I was okay with that since I did nothing. I think he took pity on me in retrospect due to said medical issues. But that was the year I realized how much of a joke school was. I put in as little effort as necessary when I went back. I applied to college as a high school junior. Was accepted. Got my scholarships. Dropped out of high school. Not really a cheat, but I found using Google's speech to text function to be a lifesaver. I could sit down with all my reference materials, speak for 4-5 minutes, define my thesis and end up with a relatively normal 7-8 page essay. When you're about to lose 10 points for a paper being late and can sacrifice a bit of organization, and a bit of quality, let Google write for you. In boarding school a group of us got our hands on our the question for our final English exam. Based on a book we were reading. Spent the next week writing the best paper I could before the actual exam. I used a small razor blade and cut one of the blank pages out of the book we were reading that semester. And able to take into the exam. And copied the exact font, spacing, page margins etc. And printed the paper I had written onto it. Stuck it in the middle of the book. Walked into the exam. The teacher checked my book for notes and found nothing. Copied it out word for word during the exam and then pulled the page out and ate it. Got a C. I used a smartwatch in my exams. Dang. You must have some pretty oblivious teachers for that. French oral exam. I just stared at my teacher until she gave me an answer and then I said it. Got a B so worked well enough was predicted a D. Same with Spanish oral exams. N. Come set a C. E. Come set a C. E. Liar. Lot of hand gestures. Pretty close to 100% of the time the teacher will feel really bad for you and help you out a little bit. I used the fact that I had early acceptance to art school as ammo to convince my guidance counselor I didn't need any more math classes. I didn't realize at the time going to art school meant I'd be working in retail and should have used all the practice I could get. Well at least you didn't get rejected and turn into Hitler. I used to show up to the school about 20 minutes after class had already started and go to the main office to get a late slip. They'd give me my slip and keep a carbon copy. I wouldn't go to class and when the attendants got to the office they would mark me late. Not absent. Never failed.
OMG. I did this all the time. At my school. If you showed up after 8.30, you'd have to sign in at the front desk and then go off to class. Most of the time if I'd show up late, I'd sign in at the front desk and then just go hang out and not go to class and get a late instead of absent. Back in high school I would do the old data file switcheroo. Basically change .mp3 to .doc on any song file I named after the assignment. So Barbie Girl MP3 would become SA Doc. The SA would show as corrupted when the teacher tried to open it. This stalled me an extra day to complete the assignment. It was part of my emergency toolbox. I bought tech programming books from BNN. Used a heated knife to melt the glue for the sealed CD-ROM that contained code samples. Copied it, glued it back and returned the book within their 14 days return policy. I feel slightly guilty they are mostly bankrupt. Most people just pocketed the CDs and walked out of the store. No one cared. Source. Worked for way too long at Borders. Not me, but rather someone I went to high school with. The student in question wore a hijab because of her Muslim faith. Well, on test days in our maths classes, she would download an mp3 track with maths formulas she had recorded onto her iPod, put on her earbuds and cover them up with her hijab, take the test, and then ace it. I only knew about this because I accidentally walked in on her in the bathroom putting in her earbuds. But I didn't tell the teacher because I thought her method of cheating on tests was freaking brilliant. Yeah, I was too honorable for my own good back then. I was a know-it-all, and third grade me disliked the fact that the teacher wouldn't call on me despite how vigorously I raised my hand. So I would take out a babysitter's club book, put it on my lap, and pretend to be engrossed in my reading. I never failed, miss. Weryl would call on me thinking that I wasn't paying attention, and boom I'd shoot back with the right answer. So gratifying. A couple of years ago, at the beginning of the whole Michelle Obama no fun food allowed thing where they took all the vending machines and replaced all the drinks with crappy diet versions and our school lunches got worse and they stopped selling any kind of sweet thing at all, I took advantage of the demand. I sold donuts and made quite a bit of money. In the class period right before lunch, I had an academy class. It means I would leave my school to take a class at a nearby school that my school didn't offer. In this case it was auto shop with a really chill teacher. It'd stop by giant on the way there and buy 4 boxes of a dozen donuts for 50 cents a donut. And then sell them for a dollar each in auto shop. The teacher also, probably still, sells soda out of his office. So we accidentally created a restaurant. I had to bribe him with a free donut to allow me to sell in class. But it was worth. Then it'd take all the leftover donuts, about half, and sell them at my own school, where I would show up during lunch. It'd hide in one of the side hallways near the band theater areas and kids would know to find me there. It was a big business. I only misjudged and didn't sell out maybe three times out of the six months or so I'd do this. Kids would buy Soyx donuts and resell them for a buck fifty in their own classrooms. I became a donut pusher. Sometimes demand was so high that I could buy 6 boxes of donuts at the beginning of the day, and make $30 for about 8 minutes of actual work. On snow days or weird scheduled days or for special requests, I would charge 2 bucks, and kids would pay it. I made a good chunk of cash off of this and never got in trouble. I even sold one donut to the school cop near the end of the year. Seen a year of high school we had to write a research paper. Spent almost all year on it. Was supposed to be like 10 pages or something. I goofed off and said frick it. Time comes to turn it in and I turn in one of those clear folder things with just a cover sheet in it. A week later the teacher comes to me and tells me she lost my paper and needs me to reprint it and bring it in tomorrow. I tell her no problem and go home. Next day I come in and tell her that it had been written on my mom's computer. Only computer in the house. And that my mom had already deleted it. Sounded really sad and asked what I was supposed to do now. I couldn't write a new report that quick. I had spent all year on it. She says she will take my average from the other assignments we had done and that would be my grade for the paper. Walked away with a 93% on the paper. I continued to love learning despite everything. PFFT nerd. I feel like I cheated college. I graduated with lower honors. CM lord or whatever. And it was entirely because of my major. I went in freshman year as a declared marketing major. Business school. My only natural academic ability is I can write. 
business school, though, is heavy on math, and I am abysmal at math. I wasn't a great high school student, middle of the road, so I had to take a sort of lead in math class, basically pre-calc. I think I got a C, the lowest grade you could get and move on. The next year I took accounting 1, and again, barely hit the minimum. Same with accounting 2, and finance, and microeconomics, and macroeconomics, and operations management. Every year they saddled me with all these math classes, and every year I remained horrible. Borderline incapable of math. Oh, but marketing classes. Bless you, you pointless, retarded major. It is the art major of the business college, and I was freaking Picasso. Write a marketing plan for an asinine product? Done. I even got good at presenting hilarious, garbage ideas, despite my low self-confidence. All you have to be able to do is cite sources that kind of poke at the point you're making, and I always found them. So even if the idea was preposterous, I could spin it. For international marketing my paper was on introducing Flintstones vitamins to Malaysia. 1. They were already there. 2. I thought it was funny. 3. A. It was so laughably easy I took a minor, in a completely unrelated field, just cuz. I graduated with freaking honors. I made the dean's list and crap. All because my cream puff major padded my stats to such a degree, and I guess the general ed classes they made you take, but still. Prospective marketing majors, minor in it, it's dumb. Do any other thing, right? Learn accounting, learn some graphic design, college is expensive as frick, spend your money wisely. Nobody gives a crap at all about dean's list or honors the day after you graduate, but if you wanna smoke pot and get lit up all the time it's a solid strategy. Had a professor in college that used the same tests every year and had for several years. All the people who were in fraternities and sororities would have a test from the previous year on file and would pretty much just memorize that. Some would also bring it to class since he usually would leave the room after passing the test out. There were so many people that would only show up to class on test days and they all passed easily. Only kinda cheating. Definitely accused of such. Honors English class would give you some bonus point, little pieces of paper with a stamp on it, for bringing in obscure words every day and defining them. Kind of cute. Fairly normal. Once enough accumulated there was an extra credit quiz that is free points for everyone, so you know. Win-win. While I'm a gamer and a designer, I saw an exploit and I freaking drilled that crap. I hoarded those mythifrikers. Two a day, like wrote became habit, just about every day for the entire year. End of the year, she said I almost got a B if I just do well on the final. Then I turned in 2500 plus points of coupon things. A quiz was about 20 points, a test 100. She freaked out, tried to nullify it. I argued to the principal that if she reneged on me, she'd have to recalculate the entire class's grades because most of the extra credit quizzes were done entirely because of my work. I got a 334% that year in honors English. You have been visited by the money cat like for good luck and fortune. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way. Have a great day you magnificent people.